Dr. Cohen. Nurse Paul, hey. Um, you up for a little one-on-one? -on -one? Looks like you could use a pick-me-up. Uh, no thanks. Something on your mind? Actually, I, uh, I wanted to ask you something. Sure, hit me. You're very young, and I've been here for five years. Not where I thought you were going with that, but okay. No offense. No, 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 none taken. I do feel a little, like, doogie around here sometimes. Who? Hauser. Like, please tell me you know who I'm talking about. Never mind. <clears throat> it's just, uh... Mr. Ramirez won't let us do a bone marrow biopsy, and he seems to really trust you. How do you do that whole... Getting patients to do what I want? Yeah. Well, it's partly my boyish exterior. Um, no, I just, um, I play a little dumb, and then they correct me, which makes them feel superior, and that relaxes them. Not diagnoses, you understand, just like general life stuff. And then I get to apologize, and they forgive me, and then they open up and give me their whole medical history. Simple. How about that kid who had leukemia, who had to have the brain surgery? Did you meet that kid? He's a child prodigy. He's genuinely smarter than me. But, uh, he doesn't have a medical degree, so guess who's still in charge? This guy. Isn't that flippin'? He could have died. Hey, man. You get too serious and noble, you freak out and make a mistake. It's all part of the job. Like, you think I like playing basketball? No. I suck. Here, watch. So why do I do it? Well, mostly because they did it on ER and new nurses, not male, sorry, bro, will uh, come out here and watch me looking all tortured like a young Clooney and uh, they want to sleep with me. And a lot of sex relaxes you when you're dealing with cancer patients. <clears throat> Kobe. Wow. Um. Okay. Oh, speaking of which, I hear one of the new residents has a hots for you. Did I answer your question? Not really, but uh, thanks for those insights. Anytime. Nurse? Doctor? Good talk. <laughs> <laughs>